Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Monday, July 29th, 2013. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Monday Vlogger B. Now, you can probably tell from the smile on my face that I'm really excited about this week's topic. Uh, probably one of my favorite subjects in the entire world. You already know what it is if you saw uh, Mama Rosa's video yesterday, but today we're talking about sex. Now, if you did happen to catch Mama Rosa's video yesterday, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you this. You're going to get two completely different videos from today and yesterday. Now, now, Rose, I love you to death. You are a very loving individual, but you are very modest, and you have a very private life, and we are polar opposites. That's what I'm going to tell you right now, okay? I, number one, I have no shame. Number two, I have no modesty, and this is going to be a warning to all of you people out there. And three, I have no filter whatsoever, all right? So... You're going to get a look at B today that you might not have had before. So if this is going to be TMI for you, you might want to uh, make sure that the kids aren't around, that you don't have the speakers turned up too high, you're not watching this at work, because I'm not too sure what I'm going to say yet looking at some of these things. Um, but uh, I'm always going to keep it real, and you're going to get it today. So just, just be ready. Now on the flip, if you're a guy, you're curious, you uh, want to know how weight loss surgery is going to affect your sex life, this is a video for you to watch. All right, this is going to be a good video today. I'm going to have fun with this. This is going to be fun. So here we go. We're going to talk about sex. Now, I'm not going to read the whole question to you. We'll tackle them one topic at a time. There's six parts. First and foremost, do you have more or less? Well, this is kind of a no-brainer. Um, absolutely, I have more, you know. I'm going to say this, though. I don't think it's so much a result of being smaller and maybe from the point of, you know, it's much easier for me to go and and uh, and find potential partners because I'm smaller, I'm more attractive. I guess I'm more attractive. I don't know. Um, I have much more confidence than I used to, um, and that whole dating game is much easier for me because uh, I have more practice. I I feel better about myself. I look better. I have more confidence. I know how to talk to people, and it's uh, it's something that I actually enjoy doing, socializing, going out, and being active, uh, and, and talking to women, and, and that whole that whole ritual of finding a potential mate, um, and even on the micro, you know, not so much in in the long term, but from from you know the point of of one individual, we'll call them sessions, one individual session, um, you know, I. I, I last longer. I want to go more times. I want to uh, to do more, try more. So even even like I said on the micro, I'm having more sex uh, than I did before weight loss surgery. And a lot of that is just from being more physically active, being healthier. Um, you know, it's no secret. You can read study after study on this. You know, more physically active and more physically fit people tend to. To, to have more sex because A, they can go longer, they last longer, and they want to perform more times, I guess is a nice way of saying that. Um, so yeah, absolutely more sex, you know, and there's no, no doubt about that. You know, do you enjoy it? This is the second part now. Do you enjoy it more, the same, different, or less? I'm going to go with the more and the different answer, and I think... The way to explain this is, you know, I enjoy it more because I have it more. Um, it's not so much different, you know, the sensations aren't different, but the frequency is more and the duration is longer. And uh, because I, I'm more confident, I feel more attracted to the person that I'm with. There's more of a connection. There's more intimacy. And I'm a very intimate lover. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I, well, I guess I can be, but... Um, I, I'm I'm really into to passion and intimacy and, and and now there are times that I'm not but you know for the most part that's that's where I kind of tend to 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 what I kind of tend to enjoy more, um, and those feelings and emotions are are much more uh, abundant now because I tend to get much more involved in the person that I'm with at the time, um, so that's that's kind of how it's different uh, and. And like I said, more because of A, the frequency, B, the, the, uh, the duration. I use that word a lot, I guess. Um, but I've definitely noticed it. You know, that's probably one of the reasons that, that I use that word a lot. Um, but 
the sensations are the same, the feelings are the same. That hasn't changed much. You know, my sensitivity from a guy's perspective, and I'm sure this is different for, for you women out there, but from a guy's perspective, my my sensations, the physical sensations, aren't really that much different. Um, the third part, do you try different positions, styles, locations, products, and toys? Uh, I don't know how to say this and, and not be uh, not be politically correct, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. Not really, because you know what? I Even pre-op, I... I'll try anything once. Some things twice. I mean, that's just that's just me. So, you know, it, it's not that big of a deal for me, um, and even in my last relationship, especially, to be you know in the parking lot after a concert and you know get after it in the back of the seat in the back of the the car. You know, it's just that's not that big of a deal for me. Uh, so I've always been a very adventurous person. I've always been very willing to try new things and and and. and toys and products and this and that and the other and new locations and and, and different things like that um, you know as far as positions are concerned this is more of a physical thing and 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 this is you guys out there are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about if you've been through this before and you guys that haven't maybe you haven't thought about this before but it's definitely in your future um, you know you've got a very limited amount of equipment to work with all right, and when you're three, four, five hundred pounds, that's kind of covered up by a lot of stuff. All right, and I mean things like your thighs and your belly and and, and this and that and the other. And when you lose a hundred and fifty pounds, like I did, all oh, that's not there. So you have a lot more access to your equipment than you did before. This opens up. A whole lot of opportunity for you. And that's about as descriptive as I think I'm going to get with that. Uh, just because I don't want to run too many of you off. But it definitely opens up a lot of opportunity to try new things uh, physically. You know, positions and, and, and things you couldn't necessarily do before. And it's definitely opened up my creativity in the bedroom. Um, so that's probably, and that's actually probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed post weight loss surgery is I've been able to do a whole lot more in terms of different things in the bedroom than uh, than I did pre-op or I did at 356 pounds. Um, lights on or off? Well, you know, <laughs> I've talked about my chest before. It's a, re it's a part of my body that I'm still very sensitive about, uh, even at, at 200 pounds. Um, and it's a part of my body that I'm going to be very sensitive about it until I actually have an opportunity to have plastic surgery. Uh, and no matter how much weight that I lose, it's still going to be uh, an issue for me because I'm still going to have that gynecomastia. I'm still going to have these big ass nipples. I'm still going to have man boobs and they're not going to go away. It's not fat. It's not subcutaneous fat. It's breast tissue and it's something that's that's just going to be there, you know. So... There are times that I prefer to have the lights off. And a lot of it has to do with my partner. You know, if it's somebody I'm comfortable with or that's seen me without my shirt on before, then I love to have the lights on. But if it's someone new or someone I really don't give a flying F about, then I would probably prefer to have the lights off. And that really doesn't have a whole lot to do with my weight loss surgery so much as my gynecomastia. Uh, but my preference is definitely... Uh, lights on. Now, pre-op, I would always have the lights off. You know, I hated the way that I look, even though I'm not really 100% about how I look now. I'm much more comfortable with my physical appearance now, and I don't have a problem, for the most part, having the lights on. And, and, and in some cases, I'm actually indifferent either way. But that's the question. That's the answer to that question. Now, do you desire it more or less? You know, this was a tough one for me to answer, and. A lot of it was I had to sit and analyze whether or not that that it was my libido that was more active or just the fact that I was much more confident in my ability to to uh, A, attract women, B, perform, and C, pardon me, C, whether or not I was really enjoying sex more or less or I was just happier because I was having more sex. You know, that was, that was the thing. And I can't really say one way or the other. I, it's, I'm still on the fence about this. You know, if, if I really do 
have a more active libido because I've always had a really high sex drive, you know, and it's uh, it's something I'm still kind of strugg- kind of struggling with. But I am I do desire sex often. You know, I'm a guy, duh, and uh, I'm single, which means I don't have that uh, that physical. Uh, that physical or emotional connection with someone on the on the regular on a daily basis, you know. So, so there's always that need for that type of interaction. Um, but as of right now, it's very difficult for me to to tell you whether or not it's because of the fact that I've lost 160 pounds or I have I've had weight loss surgery or not. But it's definitely something that's that's up there. Um, I just right now I can't tell you why. That's, that's about as good as I can get with that. Uh, would you say that weight loss surgery changed your sex life in general? And this is the last part. Um, without a doubt, you know, without a doubt. A lot of it has to do with the fact that I, uh, like I said, and, and I kind of beat this horse to death, that I am much more confident than I was five years ago. Uh, that I'm much more physically fit than I was five years ago. That I'm, I'm much more capable of going out and talking to people than I was five years ago. Um, that I'm physically more capable uh, of performing than I was, you know, pre-op. Uh, so, without a doubt, weight loss surgery has changed my sex life, and and I, definitely for the better. Um, and we start talking about the why. Uh, it there are a lot of different reasons. Um, you know, the physical aspect, the emotional aspect, the 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 mental aspect, and something that I didn't think about pre-op. Um, and something that I've started to realize now is that I've become a lot more selective about uh, who I talk to, who I try to pick up. You know, um, maybe it's because I'm a little pickier than I should be. Maybe it's because I feel like I've kind of earned the right to, to to go out there and get what I want as opposed to what I can settle for. Maybe I'm just waking up to the fact that I'm more important than uh, than or I should treat myself better. That's a better way of putting that than I have been, and I should go out there and try to get what I want as opposed to what I can get. Um, but I've definitely become a lot more selective with the type of person that I try to attract. And that's also kind of played into my sex life because it's definitely decreased the uh, the amount of opportunities that I've had to go out and have sex because I am being more selective. I am being... Uh, a lot more picky about the type of person that, that I want to attract. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was definitely a uh, a um, an unforeseen byproduct of my sex life and weight loss surgery. So yeah, I think that's it. So guys, make sure you thumbs up, don't thumbs down, subscribe, tell your friends, come back and see us tomorrow for another proof weight loss surgery works video. Come back and see me on Monday for another proof blah, 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 proof weight loss surgery works vlog. Have a wonderful week, guys, and uh, take care. Bye.